Woodrow Wilson's first term is pretty phenomenal when it comes to getting things done that he wanted to get done, right? Uh, think of the three things that he wanted to get done with his new freedoms, right? He wanted to basically lower the tariff, he wanted to create a better banking system, and he wanted to strengthen antitrust laws. So let's see what he does in his first years. In 1913, he's inaugurated, and he calls Congress into session. And he breaks tradition because since since Jefferson, uh, the president of the United States usually just sent a written message to Congress. Now he actually goes and talks with Congress, goes and addresses them. Uh, you know, we are, we're familiar with that today. You know, we see that uh, every year with the State of the Union address, right? So, but unlike previous attempts to reform the tariff, Wilson's going to take a different different uh, different approach. Previous one previous attempts basically went like this, remember? It goes into the House of Representatives and it gets lowered. Bingo, right? But then it goes to the Senate and it gets lowered. Not bingo, right? So, Wilson takes a different approach. When the when the, the tariff begins in the House of Representatives, it is lowered. Good job, right? And then Wilson basically goes on a call your congressman, or should I say call your senator type of, uh, type of uh, campaign, right? He's gonna tell, he's gonna tell the American people, Contact your senator and tell them that you want that that tariff lowered. All right, don't listen to the special interests. We want our tariffs lowered. And sure enough, in 1913, there Congress Congress both houses are is going is going to pass the Underwood Simmons tariff, the first time that the tariff has been lowered in American history. So, or at least since the Civil War. So Wilson's first attempt at major reform is a home run. The next thing he's going to tackle is the is the banking system. And he's going to pass he's going to help Congress pass a reform called the Federal Reserve Act. And this creates the system known as the Federal Reserve System like we have today. It created the outline of it. It, ba it maintained private enterprise banking. Wells Fargo, Bank of America, and they, you name the bank, it's still privately owned. The federal government does not own it. Basically what it does is it regulates the banking system. It puts a new banking system on top of the current banking system and basically uh, you know, is going to help regulate and keep inflation under control through currency control. So Wilson is now delivered on his second big topic, banking system, and he's two for two in his new freedom. Uh, agenda. Wilson gets a huge amount of credit, but it's also Roosevelt. This is right. Wilson gets a huge amount of credit, but it's it's up. It's actually because of Roosevelt that the country was ready to accept this type of regulation. The next year, Wilson is going to is going to basically work on the Antitrust Act. He's going to basically try to bust up more monopolies, and he gets to work on it. And, and Congress passes the Clayton Antitrust Act. But in the process of it, Wilson figures out what, Rose, what Roosevelt figured out, that antitrust may not necessarily be the problem, the, the, uh, the solution here. I mean, for example, uh, how can you possibly list everything that a business could do that was considered an illegal restraint of trade, right? So, you know, how many things could that be? So he passes, you know, he, it's signed, he passes it, and he thus has delivered on all three promises of the new freedom. But he declared that basically that this is not the answer. Antitrust is not necessarily the answer. So in the, right in the middle of passing this Clayton Antitrust Act, uh, Wilson is going to support and get past the Federal Trade Commission Act. The tra this commission was established to regulate all interstate business. This is Wilson's idea. Sorry, this is Teddy Roosevelt's idea, right? So what's going on here with Wilson? Wilson gets into power and looks around and sees the importance of big business. And he says, essentially, that breaking them up is not necessarily the answer. Regulation is more of the answer. This was essentially Teddy Roosevelt's thoughts. So Wilson begins with a new freedom and accomplishes all three of its key proposals. Then he goes to the new nationalism and enacts one of its key proposals. Right. Well, the next election is coming up in 1916, and Wilson knows that the Republicans are not going to be as divided as they were in 1912, and they were going to be a problem if he was not careful. So, Ro by the way, Roosevelt does go back to the Republican Party, but he, they never renominate him ever again. Well, if Wilson is going to win the election of 1916, he's that means he's going to have to get some of those Republican votes. And so, what does he do? He goes ahead and adopts the entirety of the new nationalism. In 1916, Wilson moves on getting social justice aspects of the new nationalism. 
For example, Wilson is going to no nominate Louis Brandeis to the Supreme Court. It's significant in two ways. First, you know, Brandeis was a noted progressive. He really believed in social justice legislation, making a name of arguing such cases, particularly for minimum wage for women. Brandeis is also Jewish, and it was considered back then widely radical at the time to nominate a Jew to the Supreme Court. <clears throat> Wilson next puts his support, and Congress passes the Keating Owen Child Labor Act of 1916. This act made a stipulation that if you use children under the age of 14 in your business, you could not sell whatever you're producing across state lines. Wilson is also going to support women's suffrage, which he had, she did not do so before. In fact, you can make an argument he, he had to support it kicking and screaming. But nevertheless, he also supported federal work, workers' compensation. So Wilson begins with the new freedom, found that it was not nearly enough, and moved to continuing the proposals of the new nationalism. <clears throat>